Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I think it was the first day or second day when I raised the issue that there is a need for justice reform in our country. This is what I was talking about. From the discussion, what you have heard now, you can see that there's more than broken justice system that we have. And the explanations that I keep on hearing apply to elites like yourself, myself, ministers, commissioners, people in government. But the ordinary citizens, most of the explanation doesn't help not even one person. And I will explain to you why. I had not heard the, from the presentations of the Minister of Justice talking about why do we have generals, politicians, go with vehicles full with soldiers to go and arrest somebody whom they have a case in court with, especially land issue. If somebody have issue of land with somebody who is in government, a general or a minister or any, what you will see is that somebody will come with soldier, run everybody up, take them out of that place before the verdict is delivered in court. We're not hearing that. Our ordinary citizens, Your Excellency, are losing their property, losing their properties more than what they have lost during the conflict. Right now, as we speak, most cases in court, I do agree with Honorable Minister of, uh, of Information, that in our country we have judges that are the judge and they are the persecutor. They do two things at once. They're the one that will deliver the verdict and they're the one who is persecuting you. This is the justice system of the day today that our ordinary citizens are going through. And if we don't have the reform for that, Your Excellency, we will be coming here every single day. Not, but Your Excellency, what I'm telling you is still happening as we speak. Okay. It might not reach to you or might not reach to the ministry, but that's what is happening. Let me give you one example to make it clear. Two months ago, there was a case in court. And one of the persons that was involved in that case, somebody from my state. The accused went and opened the case in court. And before the person was called to appear in court, the verdict was delivered. Simple like that, it was delivered. Where on earth can you get that? In what country can a verdict be delivered before the accused is brought to appear in court? But it happens here at the center. Not in the States, at the center, here. So if you can see these cases like that, this is how our ordinary citizens at, at, at customary courts. What, what's that? Customary courts? Not at the customary court. Okay. Just at our center, just in the center here. Special courts. This is exactly what our ordinary citizens are feeling. And that's what I meant that in order for you to win a case now in court in South Sudan, if you're an ordinary citizen, you have to have a politician at the top or you have a lot of money that you have to bribe so many people in between in order for you to win that case. So now we're talking about just a system that is pushing aside the ordinary citizens that have no connection, have not money, have, do not have a lot of money. And we're talking about what we're talking now, we're talking about a justice system that will apply to those at the top and not those at the level, at the lower level. This is what we are having here. Your Excellency, our citizens, most of them do not know our laws. Because this ministry needs to be funded to the fullness. This because this is a ministry where the life of our innocent people, the investors that we are calling to come to our, our country, for them to come here, it depends on whether the, our justice system works properly. And if it doesn't, none of them would come. None would come, Your Excellency. In, in, in the business area, if you go to the country, the two things you looked at is the taxation laws and the law that if you lose your money, you can go to the court and get your money. You won't get this thing in 